Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we did not expect to do another back-to-back -back Disney Parks video. Didn't we though? We've been. Uh, not like this. Not like this. Yeah, this is not this is not good. This so, is really not good. But thankfully, I don't think anybody was harmed. Last night, Disney's brand new spanking shiny it was new open six days. Six days. The Disney Skyliner is open and there's a major kerfuffle. A major, major kerfuffle. Major. Uh, so bad that uh, uh, they had a bit of an accident. They had a bit yeah. of a pile up. And we're talking. Look, we're when we say pile up, we mean pile up. Yeah. That the Skyliner that they just opened, that they spent millions and millions and millions of dollars on is closed indefinitely after less than a week. Yeah, it's because of it's, it's not just temporarily closed. We don't know how long it's going to take to fix this mess. Um, I'll talk more because poor poor Neon can't speak today because he's still sick. I'm still sick. We were going to this last night, but he was too ill. So we have this accident happen. This is at the Riviera station. The Riviera is not open yet, which is a whole other thing we'll talk about in a bit. Um, but I guess the car is piled up. And because of this, they had to shut it down. And people were trapped up in the sky for a long time. So we have experience in this. Yeah, we were trapped on the uh, Disney monorail. Monorail Blue, was it last year or the year before? A couple years ago. And that was when it was smoking and sparking and peace yeah, fell off. I actually had to call them. I got to use a little emergency phone. You're on the news talking to them. I was. I was phone. like, hey, fam, the monorail's on fire. What do we do? Yeah. and so It's on fire? It's like, yeah, it's sparking and it's smoking. It's sparking and, and yeah. smoked. And then it shut down, but a piece apparently fell off. Even though they said that wasn't what happened, but it was what happened. And we got stuck there for a, an hour or something. And they were actually pulling the, the windows out because there was no air in there. And um, other than what you could open the windows, it was very hot. We were all stuck there for about an hour. It was in the middle of the afternoon too. We're talking like one yeah. o'clock in the summer. So they pulled the windows out. And they did tow us back to the station. When we got back to the station, they had water and different things. And a lot of the, the things that we were reading about this is very similar to what happened with us on Monorail Blue. Yeah, they do have protocols, but this is like, just to backtrack a little bit here, uh, the Disney Skywalker, for those of you who don't know, is an aerial gondola transport system. They spent millions and millions and millions of dollars to uh, build this. And it goes from the uh, Epcot area resorts and the Hollywood Studios resorts to the parks. They built this in anticipation, I think, of Galaxy's Edge. I think so, too. And the Riviera. And the Riviera, bringing more crowds. Both the Riviera, this luxury hotel that they've already, and we'll talk about this, had a fire sale on it because they're not filling the rooms. They built the Skyliner thinking they're going to have so many people they had to transport to and from Hollywood Studios, and now it's it's shut down. They, I mean, they've been testing it for six or eight months now. It's been many months. It's been testing. They've they've uh, you know knocked down uh, you know trees and everything to make room for this thing. It was up for a week. A week. Not even a week. It was six days. It would six have been a week days. Today. They would have been a week. Six days before they have a major accident. And we're not and talking now... like a little thing like it just shut down. This is a big deal because these are all piled up on top of each other. Um, it's not, this is not like, you know, something got stuck and they had to shut it down. This yeah, is like, yeah. you know, this is not good. Now, luckily it's in the Riviera station, which no one's in the Riviera right now. So they might be able to fix it a lot easier if it hadn't been like a, you know, one of the other locations. <laughs> That's but a problem. Nobody's in the Riviera right now. I know. Now. I, I, so yeah, this is bad. Now I want to take a moment though, to give it props and a shout out to all the first responders and the cast members that were there to take care of the situation because they did a really good job. You have pictures. People were being evacuated. We'll show you images of that. Being evacuated by uh, large uh, crane like vehicles. They had ladders. Mm. They had people rappelling off of the the, uh, the Skylars. They're putting their lives at risk to save everybody in the vehicles. So, I mean, I want to take a moment to give them uh, the credit. Because a lot of times people, they, they're all talking about this, but they don't give credit to those people. And those people went out, out of their way, and they were well-trained, and they did everything they could to get everybody out. And it seems like there's been no no actual physical injuries. No, so, there's there's a lot of there are going to be a lot of emotional. Scars. I'm sure there are people are already like I'm never uh, riding that again ever. Yeah, and I think the press the press is going to hurt Disney. Disney has already had a lot of bad. Yeah, press they're from, having a bad year. They are <laughs> having a very bad year. They've already had very bad press from Galaxy's Edge. They've had uh, bad press from the Riviera. The the bookings being down. The Riviera is already on sale. And now they've got this, another multi-million dollar project that just goes poof. Mm -hmm. And the show you sites know. aren't going to cover it or they're going to delete comments, which we're going to talk we'll about. We'll talk about that. But so there, anyway. There have been problems with the Skyliner for pretty much since opening. They say it gets backed yeah, up. Yeah, that was three days ago. It was backed up really bad. 
Yeah, at this point, this is coming from Blog Mickey. At this point, we can't recommend using the system as a reliable form of transportation. From frequent stops to managers who weren't prepared for park close, there are plenty of growing pains. Yeah, I mean, it's a new thing, though, too. You have to understand it. It's brand new. It's going to cause some issues. Oh, wait. Go. Yeah, there's the stuck. People are stuck in there. Oh, wow. Look at this. We recognize that. We were up high in the air and all the all the, the emergency vehicles show up underneath us. Yeah, I wondered when we were stuck on the monorail, I was like, are they going to go get one of those inflatable ladders like they have on, on airplanes and they're going to make us jump or what? Well, this is worse. I mean, this, oh, is, yeah. this is far worse. Being stuck here um, is far worse than what we had to deal with because here you're up in the air just suspended. When you're on the monorail, the monorails break all the time, but you're actually on a track and they yeah. can tow you, which is what they did for us. You're on a cable high in the air now i would still ride it uh this is this is kind of the worst case scenario and i said before when they you were did. building it and we you were did. down there when they were testing it i was like what happens if you get stuck what are they gonna do well now we know now we know and it, it didn't even take a week this is the most famous picture right here all the cars slammed into each other like now those ones cars. are at the station I think they're empty no one was in those yeah i don't know what happened if, if something got like backed up here they're showing people being evacuated with the um arm yeah, this is this is uh, this is what happens. So they they have to have had uh, you know some kind of emergency protocol in place. But again, this just God, this is not even a week, not even a week, and it's a cluster. And I I really wondered. Now they had the Skyway before. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, they used to have the Skyway in Magic Kingdom, which was similar to this, but it was just in the park, and they had issues with that, which kind of led to it being yeah dismantled down. and same with disneyland they had they had it in disneyland as well they also shut it down there so why they would do it again i don't know uh, but on a they bigger probably figured scale it's years and years decades later we have better equipment better technology um but you know what here's the thing though things happen I mean, I'm not trying to give them a pass on this. Uh, it was a new thing. They, there was going to be bugs in it. You running it 24-7 with people in it all the time. Mm. Things are going to happen. Yeah, but it wasn't even a week. I know it wasn't even a week. Not the monorails even a week. break all the time, but the monorails are how old? The monorails are like 30 years old. I mean, neither replace us, and they didn't for this. I got to tell you, that I was thinking about that. As soon as I found out that there was an accident, I'm like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. We spent millions, millions and millions and millions of dollars to create a non-necessary transportation system. Really, it didn't need to be done. People mm -hmm. were like, well, it's going to alleviate bus traffic. It, it's not going to because some people aren't going to want to ride some it. Some people are afraid of heights and they won't ride it. Right. And, uh, and now they're sure, definitely not going to ride sure it. sure not going to ride it after this. So they spent all that money to build this when they could have just replaced the monorail fleet or even spent some of that money to... Extra buses. To, to have extra buses or, or another loop or something for the monorail. But they wanted to do this because they thought it'd be cool. And they thought they honestly... Well, it's a lot I, cheaper to do this than the monorail. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, putting a monorail loop, it's in, it's not feasible for another monorail loop to one of these parks. They're too far out. Yeah, well, they... they these guys, that, these are way far away from Magic Kingdom. Uh, for, yeah. Yeah, for it's Hollywood. It's too far. And, Hollywood and, and... Well, we could have done one from Epcot to Hollywood, maybe. They could have done from... But Epcot Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom's way too far out. Well, this out. doesn't go to Animal Kingdom, but they could have... They could, I guess they could have done it from Epcot to Hollywood, and it probably would have been about... I mean, I think it's a little bit more money. This is a cheaper way of putting a system in, but then you wouldn't have your Riviera with a special... Well, that's what this whole thing was. The Riviera and the Skyliner, I don't care what anybody says, the Riviera and the Skyliner were built in anticipation of Galaxy's Edge bringing more people than Disney can and handle. And all the wine moms with money. All the wine moms with you were money gonna who think want... Sp spending $3,500 to stay at a three-bedroom three, three bedroom suite was, you know, a value. And and they want to, they wanna you know, have something new and shiny and fancy to wow them. Like they can, you know, take their Instagram pictures as they're floating <laughs> above... Yeah, floating above uh, Disney <laughs> World. Well, there's lots of Instagram. There's lots of Instagram. Yeah, go give these people a follow, by the way. Yeah. Um, so well, the Instagram yeah and here here is here is a a trained first responder propelling either up to or down off of one of the skyliner Spider vehicles Man. it's a good thing that they got spider-man back so these guys are like risking themselves to, to take care of this this is over by this is epcot right here because this is, this is this is the gateway at epcot because there's the the new france yeah that's epcot there so um yeah my, this is, i'm sorry there are course jokes and they are funny this looks fun. The kids can't wait to ride the new Disney Skyline. Awesome, dude. Free zip, zip wire included. That beats Gatorland. <laughs> it does beat Gatorland. There were a lot um, of joke posts. It was, you know, and people were like, that's just mean. No, no. If you've been trapped on all these things, you can find the humor in it. Yeah, they were singing when we were trapped on the monorail and they were towing Oh, there was backwards. little kids. There were little kids in the in the thing and they were, our kids were scared and they weren't that little. 
but it was hotter than hell. I mean, it was it was really hot. But everybody was singing "Let It Go" when they were pulling the right. They well, they were doing the that because they were doing that because the little kids were scared. There were some little little kids, and they were they were quite frightened. Our kids were older, and they were frightened. Um, so here's cast members preparing the station. Three hour delay. Uh, oh yeah, but the good news we got to see what the emergency kit was. There's a light stick in the notepad. And there's these are water water here and a towels. Um, pu puke bags. One person said his wife threw up, which we're gonna look at those posts in a minute. Someone said we were off at the Riviera Resort, safe and sound. No more Skyliner. Uh huh. And then you're gonna talk about this. Yeah, this is how I first found out about it. Someone, um, uh, Valdez, sent us this last night on Facebook, but it was very late. It was like 11 30, 12 o'clock at night. And apparently, people were complaining about it. Um, and they were like, help us. We're stuck on the Skyliner on the uh, Disney Pass Holders page. Now, this is not the official Disney Pass Holders page, but it is one of the largest Pass Holder groups. And they were deleting their posts. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about with people. These shill sites are so afraid of Disney and they don't want any bad news. They refuse to cover or even have it on there of bad news. So they're deleting the posts of people on there, trying to tell other Pass Holders what's going on because they don't want that bad news associated with their page. Yeah. Bad news. It's like a flip and there's trap on the effing Skyliner, but that's bad. That we don't want any negativity. There is look at those people on that Skyliner being negative. How dare they? Why can't they find the pixie dust and magic in the situation? Like, look at this. She said she's stuck on the Skyliner going toward Epcot. We're waiting to be evacuated by a fire truck and been trapped for over two hours. Yeah, there's no air conditioning in these no, cars. They only flows because when it moves. And if it doesn't move, there's no air. And they don't have windows to pop out, do they? I don't think you can pop the windows out. Like no. the monorail. Well, no, because you'd fall out of the. The monorail windows would pop out. Yeah, they told us to pop them out. Yeah, actually. which because we couldn't get the windows, a couple windows open, so there was no airflow. We popped windows out. I don't think they have that in these. No, because the windows go like clear to the floor. Yeah. So I know it could have been me that was in the crash that created this mess, but I'm still upset about the lack of evacuation plan and communication from Disney. We've had no updates other than a recorded message that says there's a temporary delay. Um, my post was deleted as well. My post was deleted, but we've been trapped in the skyline for two hours. We're not over the water. Also, emergency kit isn't even full. It only has three water, two ice packs, and one disposable bag. Hopefully, we get rescued soon. Currently stuck. Yeah, I mean, they're deleting posts. This, look, you want to talk about kind of that cult-like mentality. And this is why, you know, we, we did cite WDW News today because they yeah, actually they're, been talking they, about Yeah, we're going to talk about, they have articles up. They are the ones that were, we were posted. I yeah. still recommend you follow them. Yeah, we, we They're had, more honest. Yeah, we had Nathan Hartman on uh, about two weeks ago and he mm -hmm. was he was very, very cool. They are honest because a lot of these Disney sites, again, this comes down to access and this comes down to getting uh, cookies from Disney. Mm -hmm. They actually go so far as to police their message boards. I've seen it on pretty sizable mm -hmm. disney groups yeah. where they any negativity any negativity even if it's legit customer complaints they will delete them because they don't want disney to get mad at them for harboring negative individuals well, it's very cult like even the last place we worked that we built uh people asked where we were and they reported them for uh, harassment. harassment for asking where we went because no one told them where we went and i was gonna say and po contrary to popular belief we do not work for or with WW News Today. We just have a similar mindset, a customer first. Yeah, we're, we're fans who are customers first. Because WDW News Today is honest, they've actually been uh, banned from the uh, Disney media list. Mm -hmm. So they're not invited to the cupcake parties. Yeah, I mean, they had uh, people on Twitter taking pictures. Uh, they were the ones, I think, that broke the news, really. Mm -hmm. um, now, it was on social media, but uh, you know, it, it's going to be curious to see how Disney puts a spin on this in the next couple days because they're going to be like our, our sky oh my gosh there's a pile of broken plexiglass seen scattered on the floor well of course it's gonna they're smashing into each they're other smashing into they each other. broke the glass and the glass breaks that easily on those yeah, things that's kind of scary i mean what if some kid you know pushes on the glass i i don't know i mean i'm sure they're hitting metal into it but still i mean how many times did they get hit there's a fire that we recognize that scene yeah reedy creek it yeah, Reedy Creek. go Reedy Creek. I, I'm like I said, props 100% to them, 100% to all the all the people that came in and, and got everybody out. I, I mean, I I cannot give them props enough. Yes, yeah, so this happened very late last night. Uh, like I said, I got I got messages at like 11 o'clock, um, ready with medical aid for evacuation. We, we, they had this when we were on. We were just on the uh, monorail yeah. and we were towed back, and they had all this stuff, all the drinks, all the medical, all the fire. Everybody was there just in case. I mean, this is this is bad. I mean, this is a this is bad on many levels. One, it's it's horrible for the guests. 
Um, but it's, it's also not good for Disney. It's not good for Disney. Like I said, you do not understand. They've been working on this for like two years. Yeah, it's been a long time that they've they've they announced this thing in 2017, and they were working on it prior to that. But they started actually. We were there when they started taking out the trees and they started putting the you know clearing all the areas. We've been there watching it go up, and they were testing it. I know clear back in March and April. It was already on the testing. Yeah, they were we running were, the cars. Yeah, we were getting some video of it back mm -hmm. then. Um, and so they tested it for months and months and months. And now that you've actually got people in it, yeah, you know, it's a totally different story. But uh, yeah, this is bad because again, this this whole system and the Riviera Resort, I think they were built in anticipation of Galaxy's Edge Probably. bringing a shit well, just ton the of people. I think they wanted something special for the Riviera to make it a draw for people to do yeah, the well, DVC. Who cares um, now, right? Because but here, like, they have, they have, the, these, they were telling people at Caribbean Beach that it was down. Um, they're giving bus service. They have, the, they, they, they always pop these up. We had it with the monorails yep. many times. Temporary unavailable. That could be a day. That could be a week. We don't know how long that means. Um, and, I, and I guess when they got people off, what I'm hearing was that they got, they gave them, I don't know if it's true or not, a $100 uh, credit and then fast, pa or no, uh, park hoppers. Okay, because they gave us they gave us uh, fast, fast passes. passes. But we were not we weren't trapped as bad as this. And then um, these people they gave them buses and took them wherever they needed to go. Well, that happened with us when we got off. They they got us towed back. Mm. They got us out, you know, car by car. They immediately had medical personnel asking everyone when they got off if they were okay if they needed any assistance. Then they gave us water, Gatorade, said take as many as you need. And then they took us to a bus and took us where we needed to go. And then they took care, then they had people that were there to make sure they had customer service people there trying to make sure we, you know, they got us taken care of. Um, now that, we, we had nothing anywhere near as bad as this. And it was pretty bad, but we had. This was way worse. I can't yeah. imagine having small children on this thing. Oh, my but God. Kids in general. My kids yeah. freaked out in monorail. This is much worse. You're, you're dangling above the ground uh, in a tin can. Um, I'm afraid of Ferris wheels. This thing is going to yeah, be. Yeah, it's, it's basically, yeah. Uh, and um, this is funny if you go out to Instagram. Let's go down. Yeah. Oh, no, here, here, here. Oh, the, the poo corner. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. One, welcome. We're going out to Twitter. Welcome to poo corner. Uh, Wait, <laughs> Disney responds to the Skyliner action. I'm not laughing at the action. I'm laughing at the people in the comments. They're so I'm great. I'm liking this. Uh, but this is, look, they're like, this is what makes me mad. And this is, this is Disney being Disney. Disney reports that no guests were injured. So that's a plus. Nobody died. Mm -hmm. What do y'all complain about? And claims the cause of the issue was unexpected, unexpected downtime. downtime. Yeah. Unexpected. Those windows are smashed out. They freaking crashed. They crashed. The Skyliner pulling in the station. Who would have thought could go bad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay, this wins. There could be no greater Disney Skyliner tweet. No need to fix the Disney Skyliner. Just leave it motionless forever and add a strobe light. <laughs> No one will notice. Okay. I'm going to have to do a separate article just with the comments that are funny. In, insider insider uh, uh, hot take here because a lot of Disney fans, again, we have a lot of people who follow this channel who don't go to Disney. Um, they're talking about Expedition Everest, Everest. which had a, a really, really impressive animatronic Yeti that broke after like the first it year. It was like the first year, yeah. And they left it, they've left it go. They haven't We're fixed talking it. like it's been like this for decades. We're talking, yeah, over 10, 12, 15 years now. Yeah, it's, and yeah they I, haven't I thought fixed it was closer it. to 20, but yeah. God, they just, they just, I think it was 2005. Was it 2005? So yeah, we're talking about 15 Okay, years. maybe it was that long. So, but they just flashed strobe light on. Now, here's the thing. There's so many things, and this is what's frustrating about the Skyliner in general. There's so many things that are actually broken in Disney that when they spend millions and millions and millions of dollars to build something they really didn't need only to have it break after a week there's there's sort of a like and i told you so yeah uh uh feeling coming across me right now like you know if you just would have bought new monorails well i think that's what it is um, they wanted to move into the future make all these changes this is what, exactly what i think is gonna happen to epcot this is, this is epcot right here they want to go into the future and make all these changes and what's gonna happen is more of this i guarantee yeah. it this is what's gonna happen uh there was one here that was great but did, did you, you die? die? <laughs> yeah, that's just it. Uh, oh, Thankfully, chill out. It happens. Nobody's hurt. Life moves on. Actually, Your kids will live. Have you ever been trapped on one of these things? Because we have. And it was only, it was the monitor, which is much less as bad. I mean, yeah, it's freaking, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, some people are, are like, hey, it's no big deal. But I'm like, we're talking a week. We're talking a week. And now we're talking the thing no is down hurt. and dead. So that's what matters. Thank God nobody was hurt. 
But we're talking that people... You know, oh, that little girl's kids. being good. Cause my kids would been freaking out. No offense to my children, but they would have been freaking out. Yeah, it was... We've done this. We've established done this. a poo corner. <laughs> yeah, established. We need to establish a poo corner. Um, this one's great. This is uh, Disney Skyliner in action tomorrow. <laughs> Swinging this kid around. <laughs> Whee! Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. If, before if, and after ride the Disney Skyline. Before and after ride the Disney Skyline. <laughs> I think we're going to do another post with just these comments. Uh, people in Skyline are waiting for evacuation. I like that they're having fun. I mean, you're trying to make the best of a bad situation. Here's here's where I get, look, I get that stuff happens. Okay. I get that stuff happens. Again, though, with the monorails um, and stuff happens, but they're 30 years old. They're they're actually 10 or 15 years past yeah, so their you, life expectancy. You know, you can expect problems with the monorails, but these are brand new. These are brand new. And they've been tested for months, so you wouldn't think that there'd be a problem. I mean, stuff happens. I, I get it. But I'm also like, this is just indicative of, of Disney now. Like, you're spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. A lot of their ideas are not well thought out. And there, there's a rumor out there. Um, just in terms of, of delays and things not being thought out, uh, and I just heard a rumor uh, from somebody on Facebook, uh, who I'm not going to give their name because I don't know if they want their name given, but they said that the problem with the rise of the resistance attraction, the reason it's been delayed so long, it might be delayed again, is because they put the track in backwards, upside down. But you know why this makes sense? Because one thing we do know from talking to people was, with the Star Wars park, with the Galaxy's Edge, what they did was because they didn't want anybody to leak the information of what could be there. So they were bringing in different contractors to cover yeah. different little parts or elements. So no one really had a cohesive vision of what it was. So they might have put it upside down because it wasn't like they were one team working through it. They had different teams coming in, so no one knew what the other team was doing, so it wouldn't ruin anything. And I think that disconnect might be causing a lot of the problems because there wasn't just, you know, there was probably someone overseeing it, but it's too big for one person to oversee it. They needed a, a, a cohesive team and they didn't have that. They had this part here, this part there, this part there, this part there, and no one was allowed to talk to each other. Um, and then how would you gonna know it was gonna work together when you weren't allowed to talk with those people? Like you might be doing the the the, the system for sound here and this mm. person's doing the system for the computerization. This person's doing the ride vehicle. Well, unless they talk together, how the heck are they gonna make sure they all mesh up right? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, well, that's just it. And we heard that from people that were working on things, that they they were working on one part or this part, but they didn't know the whole picture. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Aaron Murray, uh, this is, this is yeah, this is funny. Well, being stuck on two and a half hours, uh, being stuck for two and a half hours has been rough. The occasional loud messages from the Skyliner is enough to put you slightly on edge. I understand protocol, but the repeated messages are similar to Chinese water torture techniques. I'm sure that would give, you know, I love that, the great <sighs> Skyliner crash. Oh, God. Um, this is not a good look. Again, you know, with the monorail, um, those monorails are, and this is what's frustrating about it. Like, they should have replaced the monorails before they did this. Right. You know, the monorails, they were up until the last, you know, 10, 15 years, they were pretty much on top of it. They did replace them regularly. Disneyland replaces theirs mm -hmm. regularly, but Disney World is still well, using Disney World has a much larger monorail system. Yeah, and they're actually used for like legit transportation disneyland's are smaller and they're more um you don't want to walk eye through, candy yeah it's more know? if you don't want to walk through uh downtown disney you can hop on it and take it to the park yeah whereas in disney world they're actual like legit monorails but they they do need replaced and they built the skyliner instead thinking they were going to transport all these people to galaxy's edge and now within a week it just crashed and right burned, well, my first thought when i and, and actually squid king said the same thing his first thought when he's heard about the skyliner was that's gonna look really ugly he's like you're gonna have these giant cars it going does, through the sky it and it kind of does it does and i was just like why would you pick that you know if you want these great beautiful shots and views why would you put that you know because they want people to look at it from the sky i guess but i don't know i mean i'd still ride it and I'm afraid of the Ferris wheels, and I'd ride at least once, even though I will admit I'm a little more freaked out by it. But I would do it. I'm, but I, I, I just think at the end of the day, we really have to give credit to those who, yeah. you know, one who, who had to live through it. Um, people are like, well, you know, did you die? It's like, you've never been trapped on one of those things. It is a scary thing. It really is. You don't, and, and I'm sure it's much, much worse being on a Skyliner. And I give props to anybody who made the best of bad situation. Go you. That's what, you know, I, I credit to you. But I mostly give props to the, the people that got mm. everybody out. Yeah. You know, and no one was hurt, was hurt, which is what matters. Yeah, that's that's ultimately that's what matters. But I have to wonder if this is going to affect bookings because again, mm, oh, I'm sure it's going. Yeah, you know, the Riviera is not even open yet. It's not even open, and they're having a hard time filling it. They're they're having a fire sale on it, and and one of the perks of the Riviera is you had Skyliner access. Mm -hmm. So you're paying so much more for this hotel, 
at, to ride the Skyliner, which is breaking down and crashing. Like, this is just like, this is the worst case scenario for Disney. Short of Galaxy's Edge just spontaneously combusting and going up in flames, this is like the worst case scenario don't for Disney. Give bad, don't give karma any ideas. I'm not I'm giving like, karma I'm ideas. I'm just like, is this bad karma on Disney for all the, you know... Times they 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 sardine people in when they they should have you know cut off the the amount when they're well, like oh on the buses that are yeah yeah the buses nickel, that, oh my gosh the buses yeah that you're standing on the buses there it's like a dial I don't feel it's safe it's I don't even know how it's legal because I mean, we're talking like you, you know you can stand on the buses, buses but they're like packed so tight if that thing rolls everybody's gonna be dead I mean but like everything they planned for this big huge uh, fall 2019 um, new luxury hotel with a new uh, Skyliner system transporting, you know, tens of thousands of guests to Galaxy's Edge every hour, and all of it has turned to dust. You know, it's like, what the hell went wrong? Right. And now I am worried, like you said, I'm worried about Epcot because I think all these great Epcot plans are probably going to. More of this. Well, I mean, look, Epcot Forever, it's like, okay, they're throwing old school Epcot fans a bone. They're doing a fireworks show with classic Epcot, and then they top it off with. The song from a line. Yeah, it's like it's like in your face. We're changing it anyway. F you. And this is like it's like a big F you. It's like oh, we're doing this whole thing just to pay homage to Epcot for all you people who love it. And at the end, they're like, but guess what? It's gonna be a whole new world now, bitches. You know? It's yeah, like pretty that. much. Um, so I don't know, guys. I you know, we're, like I said, we're we're Disney fans, but um, people wouldn't think we are. But we really they I mean, don't we, think we are. We will still be at the parks. We will still go there and everything else. We still recommend other people go there. Uh, just be smart about how you plan it. Be smart about it. Don't overpay. Yeah, I would say don't overpay. Stay off property now because I think the hotels, honestly, are, mm. are, are creeping up. Maybe there. not ride the Skyliner. <laughs> don't ride the Skyliner. I'm going to tell you, the best, hands down, the best transportation system, I think, currently is just using a lift. Just, or drive just, yourself. Or drive yourself. Um, Because the buses are bad. The monorail's dodgy. The Skyliner's dodgy. I'm like, just, you know, I, I know there's something to be said about just, like, going down there and park it. Well, now to, to bring a car, you have to pay at the hotels. Um, I know there's something to be said about, you know, just parking it at a hotel and then just using public transportation to get to wherever you want to go to. But it's not reliable, especially if you have reservations, oh especially God, if you yeah. want to get to a park early to catch a ride, you know, before the crowds come in. Your best bet's either lift or, um, you know, drive yourself. Well, I'm waiting for the close. I'm waiting for them to stop that because they have their minivans now. And if you don't familiar oh, yeah. with that, they're giant van vehicles that look vans or SUV type cars. And they're painted like red with white polka dots. And they started out, they were relatively, I mean, they were still pricier, but they were reasonable. Now it's like ridiculously expensive to go anywhere in a it's minivan. It's like 35 bucks just to go to like Magic Kingdom minutes. from like an Epcot hotel. It's crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. It, 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 it's too expensive. But if you take a Lyft or Uber, it's like it's like made like a few dollars yeah you know so until they get rid of those which give them time and they wonder they wonder why people aren't booking trips you know uh, it costs too much uh it's a hassle now to, to to make plans the hotels are all skyrocketing and and this is not going to help yeah this because cluster is not going to help the making plans just as a hassle a lot of people don't like the fact that now they want you to have all your reservations made you have to have all your fast passes booked people wanted to go in and just go ride what they wanted to ride and now you have to have like a, you know a whole binder full of stuff to plan your trip before you even get there it's just it's just it's so complicated anymore yeah so we're um i think we're gonna wrap this one up we'll keep an eye on the situation <laughs> Do you have anything to say about Skyline or Disney? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, Disney's not going to. They're not going to. <laughs> God, I'm going to like... do an article on just these. I'm serious. Okay. Everything, <laughs> yeah, Disney corporate right now. Everything's fine. Disney just in general, like they have got to be freaking out on a whole nother level. Um, because well, that's okay, because um, he's out there, you know, promoting his book right now. Uh, Bob Iger's out there on his book tour as the freaking parks are burning down. You know, it's, it's that's Magical great. Me. Magical me. That's great. So, uh, yeah, we're going to wrap this one up. Didn't expect to do a Disney parks video, but Hey, you know, Hopefully they won't, but they just keep giving, they're they, like the gift Disney that keeps just giving. keeps giving us, uh, giving us material to work with. So um, I'm going to try not to do a Disney one for a little bit, but I can't promise that'll happen because it's a whole new day. So you know. Whole new day, whole new world. <laughs> we don't know right. what's going to happen. So. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on clownfish TV. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. 
And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.